Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So as promised, um, I wanted to do a little demo tutorial for you um, on how to use the Dixie Plates reverse stamping plate. Because when I did my swatch and review video for the latest two plates, the Shape Up and the reverse stamping one, um, I didn't want to make it a super long video so I just did sort of normal swatches and I promise you guys that I would do this. So um, that's what we've got today. So I've chosen to do this cute ice cream image and it's so quick and easy to do guys. Like it would be fantastic for you to add um, to do for your clients and things like that. So if you want to find out how I did this then just stay tuned. Okay, so all I've done is just put my two coats of white gel polish onto the nail pop. So then I'm going to get my no white top coat, which is my Pied Gel Colour Don't Be Tacky. And I'm just going to do um, a nice sort of even layer over the whole nail. So, and I'm just going to wait for this to settle before I cure it in my lamp. So, and I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. So the Dixie plate that I'm going to be using today is the reverse stamping plate. And I'm going to use this um, ice cream image here just because um, you can do quite a lot with the colorways and stuff. I'm going to be using my Dixie plate um, Diamond Dixie Duo stamper with the Dixie Plates Scraper. And then I'm gonna start off with Hit the Bottle in As Black As Night. And then I'm just gonna use my scraper just to kind of get any of the bits off around the edges that might sort of end up on the nail. You can also use uh, your lint roller as well, but obviously you have to be a bit more careful um, when using that on the stamper. You don't want to be taking off uh, any of the actual design that you want. So I'm going to get my dotting tool and I'm just going to use the small end. And this is how I'm actually going to fill the image in. So and I've just got my sort of nail palette here. So, and I'm just gonna disperse some of the stamping polish onto that. So I've got Hit the Bottle in Arctic Cloudberry. And then just with the small end of my dotting tool, I'm just going to fill in the space that I want. Try not to use sort of too much um, stamping polish on the dotting tool. So I've got my nail back that's been fully cured. So, and then I've got my stamping image. So, and I've let the stamping polish sort of dry quite a bit on there so it doesn't sort of spread out the sides. And then all we're gonna do is just lightly press down like that. So, and the reason that it sticks to the no white top coat is because it's got a slight film on it like obviously when you're chroming nails um, it's got that slight film for the dust to stick to and it's just a really great way of actually sticking the sort of decals to without having to make decals because I can tell you they are a pain in the bum um, you know trying to use sort of like top coat and things like that this is a much quicker way of filling in a design like this um, and get it getting it sort of perfect so then all I'm going to do is get my Shine Bright Magpie top coat. I'm going to do two coats of this just to absolutely make sure that that whole design is completely encased within the gel. So but as you can see, it's a fantastic design and those colours really pop. So I'm just going to cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. 
So then once my first layer of top coat has been cured, I'm just gonna go over again with my second. Like I said, this just makes sure that that stamping image and the polish and everything is completely fully encased within the nail. So I'm gonna cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. Then once that's been fully cured, I'm gonna get my lymph-free wipe and my gel cleanser and I'm just gonna wipe off that tacky layer of the gel. So, and there you have a super cute ice cream image by using the reverse stamping plate from Dixie Plate. So you can see guys, it's really quick and easy to do this. It's so much quick and so much quicker than doing actual decals. This is a lot more kind of feasible to do on a client, whereas decals aren't because you have to wait for ages for things to dry. Whereas this, just wait for the stamping polish to dry. It just goes kind of matte, and then you stamp it and you're done. So I hope that you like this little demo, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.